Jen, well, as we mentioned, it was a chilly opening day for the Bison's earliest start to a season. Two on your sides, Rob Hackford joins us live now from Salem Field. Rob? Yeah, Dave, they were hoping for a hot start. Unfortunately, the Bison's fall, fell today 12 to 9 to the Rail Riders, but the team really took advantage or really uh, dug into that earliest start of the season. They handed out ice scrapers today to anybody entering inside. Uh, haven't tested out the functionality quite yet, but it's March after all. We should have a, another chance to give that a shot. But check this out. Folks really were excited to get out to the ballpark today. There was a line of people two hours ahead of game time. Uh, again, much sunnier for parts of the day. Temps in the 40s dropping and much lower now with people all gone for the day. But excited to see their new team, the new prospects, old friends who've been coming to this game as a tradition every year. Grab a hot dog, some peanuts, popcorn, and maybe some new team gear with, to enjoy the game. There are also plenty of Yankees fans here, too, with the Rail Riders being the AAA affiliate for that team. It's pretty cool to see um, the guys that are ready, like starting to get into the MLB, like seeing them right before their career start. I've looked forward to opening day every year, even though this is, remember, this is the earliest opening day we've ever had. And it's all in perspective. People are cold. If we were at a Bills game, they'd be warm. Yeah, people bundled up just like a Bills game, though. The uh, Bisons will have a chance for redemption tomorrow. They play the Rail Riders at 1.15 p.m. And again on Sunday, again, the Bisons falling today 12 to 9. My colleague Jonathan Acosta is going to have more on that loss today coming up in sports. But for now, reporting live at Salem Field in downtown Buffalo, Rob Hackford, Channel 2 News.